All right, valve cover racing has been around, I found, for about at least 20 years. And it's just a fun event that takes place at car shows and swap meets, all related to cars. And this is just an opportunity for people to do one more thing that's fun. And the race tracks that these go on are anywhere from 20 to 40 feet long, generally two lanes wide, and it's just a gravity race. Generally the starting gate is about chest high and goes down to ground level, and it's just a straight heads up competition with two cars and whoever comes first moves on in the racing bracket. And generally it's single elimination racing. Now as far as valve covers go, any American-made automobile, well actually any automobile engine, it doesn't have to be American-made, because we do have Volkswagen valve covers, which are very small compared to a V8 engine or even a V6 engine, or a straight six engine. Now the basic concept for building a valve cover racing car is to take the valve cover and put some kind of a chassis under it with four wheels. Now this fancy Cadillac valve cover just covers up a very basic chassis. And this one is made out of one inch strap metal. The wheels come off of inline skates. They have ball bearings in them, and they're a tapered wheel so that there's very little contact with the racetrack, which is one of the keys. The less contact you can have, the less friction there is, which will allow the car to go a little bit faster. And these are just connected with long nuts, all thread rod, and generally these um, inline skate wheels have a quarter inch hole in it, so a quarter inch bolt will go right through there and it makes a nice tight connection. So you just make the framework to fit the valve cover. Now an alternative to that is to take a valve cover and just use a piece of wood fit to go under it and on that surface then you can mount the axles and you can use the same kind of axles on the metal frame as on here and just use some straps that go over them and screw them down to hold them in place and there would be enough slack in those straps to where you could adjust the wheels to make sure they go perfectly straight which is another main criteria to make your car go fast. The other option for wheels is to take a skateboard and take the trucks off of the skateboard, mount them here onto the board, or either make a metal bracket framework to hold them. Now the skateboard wheels are nice because they're already self-adjusting. You just loosen this nut and then you can turn the wheels very slightly and make sure they're perfectly in line. Because what the goal is, is when you put the skateboard down, or actually the valve cover, down and give it a push on a floor, you want it to go in a straight line as far as it can and you keep adjusting those wheels until you can do that. And the reason for that is you want to keep it from bumping into the side of the track. Every time it bumps into the side of the track it slows it down. So the goal is to try and make it as straight as possible so it hits the side of the track the least amount. So that's one big thing, is to take these and make sure the wheels are perfectly in line so it runs true. Now the other th criteria is a 10 pound maximum weight. Now if you take a valve cover by itself, it may only weigh a half a pound. The chassis may weigh another couple of pounds. So you have to add weight. And what we have been using is these magnetic strips to go into the metal valve cover. Now we have a supply of these so if somebody locally here wants the weights, if they would contact me, I can give them all that they need to bring up the weights.
weight to the 10 pounds because that's another good criteria is the heavier the car, generally the faster it goes. So you want to reach that 10 pound maximum. Now the skateboard wheels and the inline wheels are all ball bearing. And what you would preferably do is take something like Brake Clean, which is a spray can. It's a cleaner and to go in and clean those bearings, just keep squirting it in there and then let it evaporate. And one of the best things is not to lubricate the ball bearings, but just to get them perfectly clean and then let them go. As uh, the word from some people who have done this for a long time says that if you put a liquid lubricant in there, it'll attract dust and tend to slow it down. Now, one thing on the skateboard wheels, they're generally flat. So, what the best thing to do is if you have somebody that has a metal lathe or well, preferably a metal lathe where they could put those wheels and taper them from side to side so that the center of the wheel is the highest point. And again, getting that narrow little strip that contacts the track. So the less surface area, the less friction, theoretically, faster it'll go. And the valve covers can be a variety. Either V8, a six cylinder, a, this one is a Volkswagen, which is very short, and it could be used or you put two of them together and make longer. Um, I think I'm running out of things to say on this. Get the high points, which is make it track straight, get the maximum weight, and just keep it within the less than 10 inches wide, less than 10 inches tall and less than 30 inches long. And for the stock class, this surface where the gasket goes must be maintained. It can't be cut out. This year we're going to add an unlimited class for the people who modify these valve covers. Cut them out, put the wheels in close, change the shape of that gasket, maybe use the steel wheels, as the stock class can't use steel wheels. And so that we opened it up to people who want to modify them. The only requirements they have to have are the 10 pound maximum, 10 inch wide, or 10 inch high. The uh, golf cover races will be held in conjunction with the uh, Florence Merchants Car Show, which will be May 19th of 2013. Registration for the valve cover races will happen at the uh, uh, the race or at the uh, car show, and that'll be in front of the Iron Gate uh, Antique Mall. Rules and regulations for the valve cover races can be found on our website, theflorentmerchants.org, and we'll also have the information and possibly this YouTube video on the uh, car show. Uh, Facebook site. So please watch us and, and give us a like on Facebook. From uh, Dick Upton and I, thank you very much and hope to see you at the races.